Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another shoe review. Today I have a special unboxing and have the Kamikaze 2 from Reebok. So first look at the box. The box, as you can see right here, there's some black part here, some weird texture. And the white is smooth and then right here is flat black. And it says Reebok right here. This will remind me of a cow, so. Right here, you can see the texture right there. And the bottom, yeah, look like a cow design. And right here, you can see a Reebok logo. This is a size 12, and this is a retro shoe. Uh, the first shoe came out in 95, 96 season. And let's unbox this to see what's inside. <laughs> so the box is, as you can see here, it just has Reebok tissue paper. And it's a slide type out of kind of box. So let's pick out the shoe. And right here you can see the shoe. And yeah, right there you can see it. And let's take out the other side too. And let's put the box on the side. And right here you can see the shoe. Looks pretty amazing. Uh, look very like the original came out in 95 96 and Right here you can see the design is like a zigzag design And the bottom one this is what I why I like the most about the Reebok back in the day comes with an hexalite technology Cushioning system. So yeah, it looks pretty Dope back in the day and but the hexalite doesn't feel like back in the day, it's more cushiony back in the day. So there's a tag right here. It comes with Ortholite Performance Insole. And the tag, the shoe is retail at $120. And this is the Hexalite technology by Reebok. So you can see this is the honeycomb. It's one of the strongest yet lightest shape found in nature. With modification, it was the theory behind the development of Reebok's Hexalite technology. As well, it combines cushioning and lightweight for superb performance. So right there, it says right there. It looks pretty neat. In the shoe, um, if you look at the shoe, there's a little Reebok logo right here. It's green, black, and white. And this is a uh, Seattle Supersonic colors. If you guys don't know, the Seattle Supersonic turns into the OKC Thunder. So. Yeah, the team moved to Oklahoma City and they renamed it as the OKC Thunder. So this is the original colorway. And you see the bottom, the Hexalite, you could actually feel it. It, looks, it feels pretty cushiony, just like the Nike Air Max. Um, the, in the back, you can see the Reebok logo and the pull tab right there. So it helps you put on the shoe. Uh, right here is green and this is green right there black white and the black part is nubuck this part is leather So yeah, it's pretty dope um, This different from the original uh, With some of the quality so first thing you know is that the hexalite is different and Second is the nubuck it's not as soft as the original and for the tongue area there's some white over here on the tongue area. This is they just made it all black. And I believe the original one has the you know, Sean Kemp uh, signature on or logo on the shoe. So let's look on this side too. The quality is pretty decent for a $120 shoe. Um, I noticed there's a little stitching defect right there. So the, the, the QC didn't check it really well. So yeah, so I can see right there, you can see it. I'm not too happy about that. But the green and black right here, um, what I don't like is this part's shiny and this part's not. Why couldn't they make it matte? So match up with the shoe better. You can see a little, a little bit shiny, right? Yeah, so that's what I don't like. And let's see like the Ortholite insole, just a regular Ortholite with the Reebok logo in green for the Seattle Supersonic colorway. It's a more like a dark green, olive green, and it says Reebok. 
So just blue ortho light. Uh, this shoe feels pretty good. What that's why I remember. And yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, on the bottom, you see that's a Reebok logo in orange, green, black, and white. And this one doesn't have a shank plate. Shoes in the 90s more uh, bulky. They use a lot of foam and it's heavy. So it's not as lightweight as I remembered. Like than the other shoe. So yeah, I think this is a little bit lighter than the original shoe. So yeah, it looks pretty neat. Um, rubber sole. Uh, the axle is pretty deep inside, so you can really feel the shoe when you put it on. And this is the tongue. It's very padded with the fabric inside. Very padded on the ankle too. Typical 90 shoes. And yeah, the Come Across this shoe, uh, I didn't have it when I was young, but I saw it in store. And I got the Kamikaze 1, uh, which I love. And it's pretty neat too, so yeah, it's pretty dope. Uh, this shoe was came out in 95-96 season and was worn by Sean Kemp and it was re-retroed in 2012 and now it's 2020 came out another pair but I'm reviewing this in 2021 so yeah I just got it during the holidays um, this thing retailed for 120 but I got it for around 100 bucks so 20% off okay let's put down the shoe and see how it looks like on my feet So uh, you saw on my feet, yeah, this is a bulky shoe. If you're gonna wear socks, uh, if you wear high socks, then yeah, it shouldn't rub, but you wear those low sh socks, gonna rub on your ankle. So just wear a mid top kind of socks. So you should be fine. So this part doesn't rub on your ankle or your leg. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty cushiony. I like it. It's a little bit heavy on the heavy side. Um, the quality, could it be improved? You know, it's not like the original um, back in 95, 96 model. And this is the 25th anniversary of the shoe. And the shoe was made famous by the Seattle Supersonic Sean Ken. So we return and inspired by the original colorway. And the original detail, including like the new bug and the green accent. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, but they're missing some of the key details in the original, like the Sean Kemp logo on there, and they didn't have that. The original Hexalite, it's a lot better than this one. This one, a little bit harder. But yeah, you can still feel it, but it's not as good. Yeah, I think the cushioning on the, on the midsole is kind of harder too, I believe, according to how I felt back in the day and today, so... Yeah, this shoe is pretty neat. Um, 100, or around 100 bucks, it's not too bad. You can always cop it during like the sale. So this is shoe is not in high demand, like the Air Jordan. So you don't have to fight over it. The only thing is the price. Is it worth $120? So if you get it on sale, that's what I recommend. Use the 20% coupon by, you know, just Google up Foot Locker or Champ Sport or Foot Action. You probably get like a coupon for the shoe and you can use towards the shoe. Uh, leave down the comment and see what you think about this shoe. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Once again, my name is David and I'll catch you guys in the next shoe review. Peace out.